Hello then, welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast Revelations with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you? I am very well. Okay, so um, last episode, <laughs> I had a play with some of the solar uh, solar panels, and yeah, I didn't do it right, um, surprisingly. Oh, before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to uh, Digital Roden, who, who basically built me this, a, um, a machine structure from uh, Volp's library, and he said it's the only kind of beacon he can find that has no power. And it's all run from this little block here, uh, the beacon. Um, but isn't that cool? Uh, look at it from this kind of way, you know. It, uh, yeah, beacon view. I love it. So thank you so much for that. Um, in the, between the episodes, what I've done is I actually built another, just just the top bit, the void ore miner, uh, just because this thing was going a bit slow. Uh, and I think it's a it's a power thing, isn't it? You know, we've got that, um, which is a lot considering. You know, we we've got no power. Uh, we've got no power. It's draining all my power. Even my screens are not working on my um, mob mob thing there. Um, okay, I've got this chest just uh, to empty my my inventory. Okay, so we need to set up this solar panel, which is really cool. Um, what I'm probably going to do is set up a tier one solar panel there and then another one here, uh, and then have them both coming into um, one of the uh, one of the power cells, so it should all buff up the system. Uh, we should be good to go. So let's have a look. We are looking at. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what the mod's called. Oh, I just popped out uh, with the wife uh, for uh, some some lunch. Uh, environmental tech. There we go. So. Environmental tech, and what we're looking for is the solar array controller, which we need to make. Uh, I think I made all the bits, so we should be able to make it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got this solar array controller, and we've got we only need nine, I think, of them, and we also got 16 of these. That's what we need. There's a resource miner head that I, you know, um, oh, we need the null modifiers as well. So essentially. Um, you can put this down somewhere and it should tell you what you need to make it. So if we, uh, let's put you there. Okay, so using our wand, uh, which I put my, oh, I upgraded my backpack to a gold one because I was running out of space. Uh, so using our assembler wand, we can basically left click it and it says, right, four null modifiers and 16 structure frame tier one and nine solar cell of any type. Cool, eh? Okay. Now, if you look at next year, uh, the next, the um, next tier, you need twenty-four uh, structure frame tier two above and twenty-five solar cells. So you can still use any type of solar cell, and it, it, you know, so we can just use a nine at the moment. And if you want to upgrade, then we just need to go from nine to twenty-five of the same type, um, and that will be a tier two then. So we could do that, no problem at all. Um, so let's do that then. Let's make. Let's make this uh, block. So where are we going to put it? Um, I don't know. Are we going to uh, probably here? Let's make a little platform. We want to go probably three high again. I'd say. Let's stick that one on top. There we go. And then basically just keep right clicking and it'll build itself. Okay, it's done. Okay, so there we go. We got uh, we got nine uh, cells there. Pretty cool, eh? And we should have a power cell. There we go. So if we put that power cell just here, and that's going to be set on in, and the card is still linked to the system. So we're not generating anything at the moment just because. It's dark, but as soon as it comes light, we should be generating power. So all I'm gonna do is gonna set another one up here. Um, we'll have two tier ones, and we're gonna be working. Actually, how much effort is it to get another? Uh, we need twenty-five 
in all. So 25, take away 9. <laughs> I should have done the maths. Hang on. <laughs> My mind's gone blank. You put me under pressure. Oh, such simple maths. Um, okay. Right. I know how many we need. <laughs> no, I don't. I just said that. <laughs> I've got a calculator. I can't believe I'm using a calculator. Gosh. It is Sunday night. It's Sunday night. I just had a big meal. Uh, so 25, take away 9. Of course it is. It's 16. Donut. All right. Um, I still had to use a calculator. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to leave that one down. Um, so we need 16 more of these. Um, to get these, I've got to remember how we... Okay, we need some more. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think um, I think we're gonna go for that. Now we have got some of these crystals in here. Uh, Fifteen, which is brilliant. So this thing, and we got some of these uh, erodian crystals as well. When we get more power, we get two of these running, which means we'll be getting we're generating more crystals, which means we can make more of these. So. I tell you what, we're going to leave that. We're just going to leave this going. We're going to see how much uh, energy this actually. See if we can sleep. See if we can get anybody else. Who's on the server? We got Shadman. Hello, and Sussex. Let's see if we can get them to sleep, and then we can actually see how much power that's generating, and whether we need to. Uh, whether we need to um, go for the uh, for the bigger one. Probably do. Come on, somebody sleep. Come on, I know you can do it. <laughs> Nope, no one's going to go sleep. Yay, there we go, well done. Thank you. Cool. Right, let's go see how much uh, power this is generating. So we should be able to see... Is it 550 RF per tick? That's not too bad. Now, is this thing working a lot quicker? Okay. It's still draining what power we give it. I might make one another one of these, either Austrian or I'll start making the um Oh. I'll start making these uh these solar cells. I think I might do that off screen because you see me make them. Um yeah, I might just do that. So I also want to get into AE, uh applied energistics. Uh so I thought we'd we'd kick that off. Uh we got uh Got a bit of time this episode, um, so to start off, really, um, I have got my pad. Where is it? The famous pad. Um, okay, we need some inscribers, a charger. Um, okay, cool. So we need to get a charger so we can charge up circuit quartz. That's uh, that's one of the things we need. And in order, in order to get that, we do need some charge uh, circuit quartz, which I think we've got two. Um, oh, we might actually have it on us. Let's have a look. Yes, so we got we need two of these. Probably going to need all of them at some point. So we got loads of loads of search quartz. Let's go down here. I think this thing's been generating. I've turned it off. It's not not being used anymore. Um, but we should have. There we go. We have got nearly thirteen thousand uh, search quartz. So we have got plenty of uh, plenty of quartz to play with. So. What we want to do is automate some charged. We need some charged ones to make some fluics, I think they're called. Um, now, I haven't done this. Normally, I'd, I'd try and do it off screen, but uh, I haven't done this yet, so we're just going to have to do it together. Um, so, the charger is this thing here. Uh, so, you need these fluix crystals. And you're probably thinking, how, how do I get these fluix crystals? Well, I'll show you. We need a bucket, a uh, bucket of water. Should have a bucket here. There we go. Uh, I've got no water here, have I? No. Let's go get some some water. There we go. So you need to set up a bit of a a water space just so we can put some crystals and stuff in there um, 
let's do that. There we go. I don't know why I've got two buckets. You only need one. Okay, so with this, you need nether quartz. So nether quartz. Have I got any on me? Ooh, three. Okay. Oh, I only need two. So we've got two nether quartz. Uh, we need redstone. And then we need the two charged. Okay, so then here, you just chuck that in, that in, that in. And I think I pick, I'm i picking it back up, and I? So what we got in there so far? Just nether, I think. There we go. And then, then abracadabra. Yay! Made the uh, advancement made unnatural. Uh, so, what we've got now is Flux Crystals. Cool, eh? Um, oh, you get two per. I thought it was... Well, okay. I th you get an extra two. I don't know how I got four there. I thought you only get two. Never mind. All right, this is what we're going to make. We're going to make just some iron, some Flux Crystals, uh, and it's called a Charger. Let's do that. Okay, brilliant. Uh, we want to hook this up with some power. Um... So what we do, Fluix production. <laughs> uh, everybody can guess what I'm uh, I'm working on at the moment um, on the server. So I need one of them, and I need you as well. I'll tell you what, we we'll put that there. We we'll stick this on top. Uh, nope, I don't want to stick it there. We want to stick it further out. Oh. <laughs> I'm not being picky. It's just I just want to put the uh, the <laughs> I want to put the power on top. So we're going to need to put it uh, quite far out right here, aren't we? Because of my slopey roof. It looks nice, but uh, it's a bit of a pain to build. So we'll just stick that there. That'll do. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to get a couple of chests. Have we got any chests in my... I've got one. Let's see if I can make some more. Let's come over here. We need all these chests. Just put them down. Okay, I need one, two. So, kind of semi automate this, I guess. Um, we're going to put a chest in front here and a chest there. Go into my bag and get two item ducks. One, two. And we need some servos. We've only got a harden. I don't want to waste a harden on that, so we just put a standard servo on there. A standard servo. We make two of these. Cool. So what we're going to do is we want to drag out of this box into the into the charger. So we'll put one there, one there. Servo there, servo there. Cool. That's just standard servos. Yeah, that's right. So you put basically normal uh, service quartz in here, and then you charge them up, and then they come in here to be uh, charged service quartz, as it were. So uh, let's turn that on. So that should go into there now. Yep, there's one in there. Just need to give it power. That's you. I suppose I could have put it on the side here, but never mind. And... Ah... Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to put it here. It's not gonna look pretty, but nope. Where can I get power from? It's too far away. Okay. What we might need to do is just move one of these closer. So we connect that one.
Can we put one right in the corner and connect it? Yep, and then there to there. Cool. Okay, so what's that doing? That's going to be, yeah, it's got some power, and there you go. You can see it's been charged. So what we want to do is just take this out for a minute, a charged Certus Quartz, and then what we'll do is we'll whitelist the charged only. Turn that on, and there we go. So that once that's charged, there you go, it should pop up in here. Boom. Brilliant. So we've got a kind of a production of charged Certus Quartz here, so we can get we can do the rest of them, there's no problem. And the reason why we need charged is because we need to make Fluix crystals, as we did for the charger. Cool, eh? So that thing will just, uh, yeah, nice and easy. Um, okay, so something else we need is uh, inscribers. Now, if you remember, uh, I should have the plates on me here. Uh, we've got the plates, we've got the calculation press, we have the engineering press, the logic press, and the silicon press. So we've got these four plates. Now you find these in meteorites, and you can actually make a meteorite scanner, I think. Um, meteorite, it's like a, there we go, a meteorite compass. Uh, really easy, it's just a charged quartz with some iron around it, and you've got a, a nice compass, and it points you in the direction of the nearest um, meteorite, and that's where you find these. Uh, inside there is a chest, a skyblock chest, and uh, you pick these up. So. Wow, okay, so that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's taken over nicely. Brilliant. So what we need is something called inscribers. Now, uh, inscribers. These things here. Uh, so the uh, sticky pistons, and again, we need a fluix crystal. So let's, uh, okay, we need to make, we need to make a few of these, actually. I think we've got loads of silicon. Yeah, we've got oh, pistons. Piston, yeah. Ten, yeah, we need five of these, so that's about right. Ten sticky pistons, and we'll make five of these. Oh, no, we need some more fluids crystals. And if you can remember how to make fluids crystals, it's... It's some of these, and we need to get some more nether quartz. Some more nether quartz and some more some more redstone. Cool. Let's go back. So you need these inscribers. They're basically like press plates at uh, presses of, of you know, forms, um, uh, logic circuits, and things like that. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's. So we'll chuck 14 of them in. Oh, ah. oh, did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Boom. 28 uh, Fluix. So we should be able to make the rest of these. Uh, that there. Okay, five. Cool. So these five are pretty important. Um, what we might need to do is make some leadstone because they, they're going to need power and I don't really want to be making loads of these uh, for the power not quite yeah oh this thing's come back on and oh look at the RF wow okay this thing must be generating a lot of power because uh Is this thing still working? I can't see anything change. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So it's still working. And we can turn this one on. So we'll go here, send that one out. Brilliant. So we've got two of these uh, all miners working. So this thing must be generating quite a bit of power. That's great. Okay, cool. So uh, what we'll do is we're... Um, yeah, we need to come out a bit more. 
It's not a very good design having the sloped roof. But um, let me just get some, yeah, some dirt would be fine. Where are we going to put this? Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll put it over here. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to leave a space. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll stick one of these on top. Cool. Right. So these output from the front, I believe. So we can get those chests that we made earlier. Uh, chests. There we go. I'll just take the whole lot. And there we go. And then we I think we can hide some ducts from there down there. Um and we also can make some hoppers to come in because the interface on these, I don't know if you've ever seen these, you've got sort of three. Um now, one is for the plate, uh, and then the other one is for, I can't remember. So the calculation press is iron. So you need iron for that, and it, no, that's to copy it. Okay, so, so the calculation is uh, pure surface quartz, and then it gives you a printed calculation circuit. So we need pure surface quartz, and I'll show you how to get that now, actually, before we go any further. Um, we need to grow uh, the surface quartz so they're pure. Now, to do that, uh, it's quite easy. I'll tell you what, we'll just make a gap here. Um, we need to build a few things. We need... I got it on my pad. What's it called? It's called a growth accelerator. Growth accelerator. These bad boys, crystal growth accelerators. So you need a cut of ME, uh, you need a fluix block. So again, we need a lot of fluix crystals. Um, oh, okay. So oh, pure is more expensive than that. Uh, well, we're going to go with this one. Um, so we need one, two, three, four. For them, uh, quartz glass. Can we do that? No, we haven't. So we need to crush up some surface. Let's go sort all that out. Oh, and you can see the power is draining quite a lot. Is it must be? It must be dark outside. Yeah, it's night. But it's nice to know that that thing does kick out some uh, some power. That's really good. Um. So can we crush up some surface quartz? Nope, you can't. I think you need a pulverizer. I'm pretty pretty sure you need a pulverizer. Have we got a pulverizer? I don't think we have. Induction spouter. Nope, we need to build a pulverizer. <laughs> one day, one day, I'll turn this on recording and it'll it'll all work as intended. <laughs> Pol. What's that? You spell pulverizer. Pulverizer. Okay. Uh, so we need a couple of copper gears, one, two, one of these bad boys, there we go, we got the flint I'm pretty sure, ooh, we've got no tin, got any tin here, aluminium, ah, uh, tin, there we go, but uh, inventory, There we go. So, uh, yeah, we need tin, don't we? Let's get a couple of stacks of tin. And put them in our thing there. Okay, we're full. <laughs> Nearly full. So let's make a couple of them. And we should have everything for that. 
There we go. And just need a piston. Good to go. Cool. Pulverizer. So let's put this here. Uh, we're getting power. That's great. And we can stick that in and it should be working. Yeah, brilliant. So we get some dust. Dust. Some surface course dust, which we need. Um, what do we need again? What was we building? Oh, yeah. I remember. We need the growth accelerator. Growth accelerator. Quartz glass. That's what we need. Okay. I think we just need one more. Come on. <laughs> There we go. One more. So we need the glass. Cool. So we got four glass. Uh, Emmy. We need some flutes, crystals, and a quartz fiber. Okay, so we're going to need quite a lot of this. Uh, quite a lot of this. Can we upgrade this machine? I think we can. So this machine is. What mod is the machine? Thermal. Thermal expansion. So let's go to at thermal. I think this is going to be over a couple of uh, episodes. I think this A system. We're not going to get it and running today. Um, oh, I haven't done it at thermal. There should be some upgrades that we can put in here. Here we go. Uh, this we need a harden upgrade first, I believe. So let's make that. It should be nice and easy. Bronze gear. Ah, bronze. How do we make bronze again? I can't remember how to make these mixed alloys. Um, bronze, no. That one. Okay, so it's tin and copper. Of course it is. Tin and copper. Got one copper. Okay. So we've got the bronze now. Just get rid of all that. So we can make this hard nut grade. Oh, you gotta make the gear. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hard nut grade. Done. I think you give this. Give it a smack, and I think it makes it go quicker, or... There we go. So successfully upgraded. So you can put augment augmentations augmentations in here now. Um, so we can get maybe a speed upgrade. Let's have a look. Um, these are the augmentations, I think. Um, flux linkage. No, we don't need anything like that. Now, I don't know what makes it go quicker. Um, no, 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 no. Speed. <laughs> Increases the chance of a secondary product. No. Okay, I, I'm not quite sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. We'll just have to just put up with this going as quick as it can. Uh, anyway, we've got 32. Cool, half a stack. So let's go back to the growth. One of these. Uh, we was making the ME cable. So we make this. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of this, so let's make 12. Uh, ME cable. Cool, okay, so we've got 12. Um, Need some more flux, fluids, crystals, flux energy connection. We need more fluids, crystals. Let's go get 
some more mead. Beacon mule. Oh, did I take out all? Okay. Let's make some more charged crystals. That will take long. Um... Okay, we need a power cell. We're not really using this one, so I'm just going to take this one. There we go. Uh, we're going to need a power cell and put it... Um, we're going to put it there. And we need to make one more block. And it's cool. Well, we haven't made the other blocks yet, but... Uh, there's three. That's four charged. I don't know whether there's a way of automating this. Um, so we need nether, nether quartz, four, and we need redstone, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know whether there is a way of uh, automating it. If there is, let me know in the comments. Abracadabra. Yeah. Cool. Um, what was he going for? I think we're good to go. We need some more quartz glass. There we go. All right, four of them. Yeah, advancement made. Accelerator is an under <laughs> understatement. Uh, so we're going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now these are things are pretty cool. Um, now I did have a bucket of water, didn't I? In here. Yes, I did. We actually have to grow some seeds. Uh, so to get the pure surtis that we need, uh, we need to grow it. And these things are called acceleration uh, growth accelerators. And they, why is that one different? Does it matter which way it's facing? I don't think it does. I think it's supposed to be face like that, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to face like that. We, we do them anyway. Uh, but yeah, these things they grow uh the um the seed into pure certis, which is what we want. This one. It probably doesn't make any difference, but it just looks better when it's okay. Cool. Right. Um, now we yeah we need one more block, and the block is a energy acceptor. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. So if we go down here, energy, because it uses a different a funky energy, uh, the ME system or applied energistics. So. You need something called an energy acceptor, which is this one, uh, which is fairly easy. We should be able to make it. There we go. And just need to drop that down just in front of there. And then this one will go out. So this is giving this energy. And then we use our ME cable to give it power. So we come out of here. There we go. Uh, Maybe that's not working. Um, shouldn't that connect? Yeah, it sounds really bad breaking these cables, but you you, you do get them back. Um, I'm pretty sure, unless we just try something. Ah, okay, yeah, we got them the wrong way around. Okay. <laughs> Sussex, you're not playing in lava like Stocko. I'm never going to get over that, am I? You know, everybody <laughs> keeps going on about me burning myself or burning my uh, house down to the ground. I don't know. Let me know if you think that's fair or not. 
that's better. <laughs> and then as soon as we hook that up, that should. Yeah, you can see it's powering. Brilliant. Okay, now we need to make these seeds. Now, let's go put in seed. Search is called seed. So we need search is called dust and a bit of sand. That's all it is. So let's go get some more dust. We've got 10 on us, but uh, let's go get some more dust. RF is... Oh, yeah, that's not working anyway. Well, it's nice and sunny, so we should be generating quite a bit of power. And the pulverizer. Yeah, we've got a bit more there. Um, yeah, you pulverize the rest of that. We're going to need a few, a few pure crystals. And there should be some sand over here. Oh, there's some naughtiness going on. How dare you? This is a this is a PG channel. Um, let's get a stack of sand. Cool. So that re resource miner, uh, the void resource miner, it it basically brings like the dirt and the sand and, and nether and all that. Your know, nether quartz, uh, not nether quartz, but nether, or you know, sort of natural blocks basically and uh how are you getting on i keep checking this i don't know why i'm just obsessed with these ore miners <laughs> just keep checking to see what they're doing and this thing's uh yeah it's, it's running nicely so that solar panel is a blessing in disguise really it's really uh helped us out our power side of things and i think that is the way forward um i do want to get into a um i do want to do a oh what are they called um Anyway, we'll get into that in the next episode. But uh, let's grow some certus quart, pure certus quartz, first of all. So in our crafting group, we can go sand and dust. So let's make... Let's make a stack. Cool. Now, I guess you can just throw these in. And they won't despawn. But what they do is they're going to grow. And they won't grow because we've got no power. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I might have to turn off one of these mines. Oh, we've got no power because it's dark. Let me turn off one of these mines. Uh, so just go to none. Hopefully that will turn these on now. No, the good thing is, it won't despawn. These seeds, when they're in the water... They, they, ah, okay, we're running now. We're good. Uh, it won't despawn. I don't know how long it takes, actually. Uh, you could... I think a maximum of five you can have. You could put one of these growth accelerators on the bottom. Um, and it will... Uh, and it will help it grow even quicker. But I think four is, 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 is good enough. It just This does take quite a bit of power. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it should be growing nicely. Okay, well, we're uh, we're at thirty eight minutes. Uh, I'm going to pause it until um, until these are grown. Uh, it might take a while, but uh, I'll pause it. And when we come back, we'll have some nice pure surface quartz to play with, and then we'll start getting this kind of all sorted out. Um, I need to maybe watch another video to get to fully understand it. But I think this is the layout. You put your plates in here, and um, but yeah, we'll have a go. But this is like the start of AE, uh, the uh, Applied Energistics. You know, we've got some charged. We can make some Fluix crystals. Uh, we need some Fluix dust and stuff at some point. But um, at the moment, we're just growing. Yeah, you can see they're getting bigger. We're growing our seed. And I'll, I'll, I'll be back once they're fully grown. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. I think they're grown. Um... Yeah, we got a stack of pure Certus Quartz Crystal. Cool. Well, there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, what was we building, actually, with these? Um, I think we needed it for the inscribers, didn't we? So if we go to here... Um, yeah, so we need gold for the, uh, for the logic... And we need 
there we go. We need pure certus for the uh, calculation. So that's why we needed it for. And the silicon, we need... <laughs> silicon, we need silicon. So the silicon press, we need silicon, which actually, um, let me show you this quickly. Do, do, do. The stoneworks factory that we made last episode or before, uh, this bad boy, you can actually get silicon straight out of this. So it generates, so we just take that out, and you can see it's kind of generating silicon from this, and it's going to fill up again to, uh, to you know, to uh, two stacks for us. So basically what you're doing is you're grinding uh, cobblestone into gravel, and then you're grinding gravel into sand, and then you're actually grinding sand um, can you imagine having that job? You know, what do you do for a living? I like grind sand, uh, grind sand into silicon, because uh, essentially that's what it is. That's all uh, silicon and glass is. So there we go. Cool. So uh, yeah, we've got plenty of silicon, so we can sort that out. We have got the pure crystal, so we can do. We got iron, and we've got gold. So we got everything, all the ingredients we need for the presses. Uh, I just need to figure out how to set it up um, and get them. Not not automated, but you know, just working correctly. So this end one here uh, is going to be a because you got four plates, uh, so you make your four items, and then this thing here, it you kind of make the end product as it were. So, um, but yeah, we'll get into that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm certainly learning doing it. I'm I'm not. I, I say the last. I used to sort of do it off screen, uh, like build it and go, okay, I, I fully understand what's going on. Um, but um, I'm not tend to do that anymore. I'm, I'm actually just doing it live, <laughs> rightly or wrongly. And uh, so far, so good. We, you know, we, made, we had a bit of a hiccup with the... Uh, you know, with this thing, but, um, you know, we're learning, we're learning together, so, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, my name is Stocker Gloss, this is Feed the Beast Revelations, and I'll see you all very, very soon, bye-bye.